Future trading involves risk and is not suitable for all investors. Content provided in this segment is meant for educational purposes and is not a solicitation to buy or sell commodities. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Tech Talk. I am Cody. He is Andy. It is January 25th, 2024, about 4.36 Eastern Time in the PM. Andy, how are you doing? In the PM. I'm doing well. How are you? Fantastic. Thanks We're for asking. We're digging ourselves out of this like wet, it's like cold weather. I mean, there for a while there, it was like a big cold snap, it was snowing every day. Now we're starting to get slushy. It's, it's, it's a heat wave. It's a heat wave. It's a heat wave. I mean, it feels, it's like 45 degrees. That's like, dude, it's like balmy. Are you out there shoveling driveways for people yet? What's going on with that? Yeah, you got to get the slush out of the way so the water can flow. It's a big That's project. Right. That's right. A lot of places need water, dude. Upkeep. A lot of upkeep. A lot of upkeep. That sounds like a business opportunity for you. Write it down. <laughs> right, hang on, write that one down. <laughs> <laughs> Shoveling driveways, upkeep. Put it in the bank. Put it in the bank. There you go. Should we talk about putting it in the bank here for a second? Let's talk about let's it. Talk, let's talk about the bank. So this is the S and P. And before we get started, so last time we looked at this, it was spelled S P O O, which Joe Schmidt corrected me. So I just want to throw a little shout out. That's why you have the thanks, Joe. It's actually supposed to be spelled S P U because. You know, I'll butcher it, but when you started in there, it was front month was always September and you is for September. So he was telling me yesterday that while it sounds correct, it's spelled S P O O, it's wrong. You want to spell it S P U. So that's what we love about Joe. He's just, he's people helping people. It's people helping people. So go, speaking of that, go check out a show, Bases Loaded, People Helping People. Go learn about NAS and NAPSR and all that stuff from the guy that knows how to spell Spoo correctly, because I sure don't. The salt of the earth. Joe salt Schmidt. of the air, salt of the air, Joe Schmidt. So thanks, Joe. Speaking of like putting it in the bank, I mean, this is the S and P. It's rocking. Nice calling this from last time, by the yeah, way. This thing's rocking, man. I mean, it's just like what a way to start the year. How about this? Nice old, nice little higher low, in the new record highs. I mean, I just, I, it's like just get out of the way of this thing. So we didn't move these lines at all, right? So this is Correct. first line, first wave, second. This is the third. Third's always usually 120 to 130 percent of the first move. So. If we are correct in our assumption, then we should start to see some resistance slash pullback around 50 and a half, give or take. So let's go take a quick peek at where that is on this daily. Oh man, look at that. That's just like uncharted territory here. Man, I can't even like, I got to scroll up to get that much scale in there. Okay, there we go. Let's just say around there. So I mean, what's a pullback? Probably something like this, right? Right there. But mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> lower high climbed into new highs. And what's interesting about it too, is that if we go and look at this one, look at this. It tried to reject that yesterday and not so fast, right back at it today. That's a healthy sign. Yeah, if you looked at that at the close of yesterday, I mean, that's pretty, pretty bearish signal right there. Yeah, that, that would have been like, yikes, if he had opened. So we always talk about like, you know, do you get the confirmation the next day, right? So it's, it looks to your point, bearish. We're just looking at, I just like said, this isn't including today's candle. It looks bearish, but you know, how does it open the next day? And in this case, rocking. So ipso facto, I mean, like I said, we looked at it on a weekly. We've had these lines drawn for a while. This looks like this is it's just going to go to 15 and a half. Let's go. Keep funding those accounts, folks. What are you going to do with that retirement? <sighs> Move somewhere where there's not snow. Yeah, but then like, are you a super hot weather person then? Like you don't even put sunscreen on your on your head. Like, Yeah, it'd have to be somewhere fair weathered. Which I don't know if it believe, I, I don't know if that place exists. Arizona in the winter, Michigan in the summer. How's that? I was thinking you're gonna like move to the moon or something like that, like outer space. I'd be a snowbird. Speaking of the moon, speaking of the moon, get your moon boots on. Here we go. Hot butter. Limit up today. We're rocking. So we're coming up on the end of the month here. And what's right. really interesting about this is that you usually like you read enough stuff about technical analysis, you'll find that like longer term charts tend to trump shorter term. So monthly trumps weekly, weekly trumps daily kind of thing. And it's, if the formation okay. looks better on a monthly than on a weekly, you, you go with the monthly. It's, yeah, it's all subjective, but whatever. This is like, this is a nice little rounding here. You know, it it's, is. it's pretty crazy to think that at 250, that that's what's happening. But, you know, you had this big downtick, obviously this month. So this is, that would have been November, right? So that's November. This is December. And then we opened higher, tried to break again. So you have one, two, three, assuming we, it sure feels like we're going to end the month, you know, 
higher from here in butter, just my opinion, given especially with the way futures are trading. We only have a handful of days left anyways. So this candle could turn into a nice little hammer and that's bullish. So what's interesting about that, let's say we get that hammer and remember a hammer is like a long wick and a small upper body, basically a green body. And like the story behind it is you know, tried to break the market, soundly rejected it and use it as more of a buying opportunity. So you had this big downtick, you couldn't really follow through with it once to lows here, right? But then even again, you couldn't follow through. And once again, now we're starting to round itself out. So what does that lead us to? That gap, little gap at 315, my friend. Uh oh, that's scary. Look at that. So this is starting to round itself out awfully nicely. We'll see. What's interesting about this too is that like, you know, when we think about class three, and I, I'm not trying to discount the move in butter, obviously, right? It could I mean, move back to three bucks could be massive. But you, know, you think about class three, I mean, going from 260 to 310, that's, that's going to add value in a class three. I don't really feel like when we think about class three, obviously cheese and then, you know, way being six cents a penny, right? But it's like, hey, man, if butter has a big enough move, it can be impactful too. So something to be mindful of. But yeah, this, I don't know. Are we getting the hammer out on butter? What do you think? I mean, you know what? I think we are. Speaking of hammers, what it should look like. Speaking of hammers, what should it look like? Frame here. You get you get a, something looking like this by the end of the month, and you're saying it's off to three dollars. Sure, I mean it's possible, right? That gap, that gap turns into a magnet. That gets a little scary. Yo, don't. There it is. That's, that's, a, buy, that's a buy on butter right, right there. there. It is. Let's go. That's Let's a go. buy on butter, everybody. What's your, what's your favorite song by the Eagles? We used to play that on the floor, by the way, anytime there was a limit move. Well, heck, butter right now is what? Limit up through... That's what I'm saying. July? That's what we're saying. Take it to the limit. That's so, the interesting thing. It's not, it's not just one month. It's it's all the way through... I mean, if you take January out, which is priced, but all the way through July. Buy them. So, good. It's a good price today. Let's go. Let's add on to that class four grain, shall we? Doot, doot. Non-fat. So this is, again, we, we've been looking at it only on a weekly lately, right? And, what, and we haven't touched anything. So we're coming up. What's interesting about the weekly is that, again, today's Thursday. We still have another day tomorrow. These ranges haven't been very big, right? But you're about to engulf the previous week's candle. And if that starts to go, this could turn into a nice little, again, it's kind of what we're seeing on the S&P. It's the SP. Right? But what's interesting, we haven't really looked at it as much as the monthly. We had this big rally right here. This was September. October, November, December, barely put up any kind of a fight against this. So you like a small downward trend. Barely, right? And so you had one, two, and this close right here is below that candle, right? And so you have really have one, two, three, four months worth of price action, totally engulfed by one month. And then the subsequent three months afterwards barely retraces anything, right? I mean, that's, that's just a poor performance out of the bears right here in response to this move. And then now we have this month is basically retraced nearly. I mean, that close is 118. That close is 117 and a half. This is 117. This is 120 and a quarter. Three months worth of price action is about to get engulfed by one month here once again. So that to me is a sign of strength. So yeah. I guess what sticks out to me is that you have this low get put in, tried to get tested, couldn't do it. And now, are we going to do that again and just continually stair step ourselves up? If we do, well, then, you know, it goes back to what we we're looking at on the weekly. What's the next target? Is this 136? Yeah, right in here. Which, interestingly enough, would be that big doji in mm -hmm. October. Sure is. So then that's right in here. Like, you think about how much this contract has moved. Going from what we're talking about doing is basically going to like right here. It's not that big of a move. No. relative to all this come on so yeah this monthly like i said we've only been looking at the weekly the monthly you know i think we have to give it a little bit of credit here this one looks good so i think you got to be a little bit careful here i think i'd rather be long than short and now you've got you know you have this stochastics are starting to actually turn over to where it would be higher and then this bad boy right here is about to cross zero for the first time since september of 2022 that's a pretty massive indication on that point yeah, for sure so look out, non-fat, rocking. So you get stocks, butter, non-fat, rocking right now. Last one though, certainly not least, see me cheese. Broke out of the downward trend though. It's, it's trying to, right? And like futures had, I mean, today cash was what? It was a little higher. It wasn't a ton. It was up a, ton, no. up a quarter on right. average, quarter of a cent. So barely anything. Futures already a premium, right? 
So I've got March at 162, right? And so with a current cash number of 48 and some change, basically, right? So futures are already forecasting that we're going to go up. What's interesting is you've got class four getting to a point where it's pretty close to $5 premium to class three and seemingly bid there. We're starting to see things shape up in the cash market that could lead to some more strength, right? And I think that you can get some follow through strength. Let's say non fat starts to clear that like 125 or what's, what was your number again? 123 spot 797. The lower than I anticipated. That's all right. So, so basically, you'd say we get a 124 subtle and non fat, and now you've cleared of that area, right? To me, it just seems like you have this seemingly potential W taking shape. You're trying to break out of this downtrend, and you've got class four products moving specifically. You know, I know butter is leading the charge, but you have class four that's on the move. So, I think you got to be a little bit careful getting overly short class three here, cheese specifically. February is a different story. It's got nearly two weeks' price. Check out Joe and Basis Loaded to learn more about that. But you know anything Feb and beyond, like you can bake some math into Feb. But you know March and on, ugh, like this looks like you could just retrace a portion of this move and still like quote be bearish, right? So I think you got to be really careful here at this juncture. Right on. Be a little careful. Little, little leery. Just a little leery. A just weird. a little though. Just a little, not a lot, but a little. Much, just a little. Okay. Well, that's gonna do it for another episode of Tech Talk. Andy, as always, we appreciate your. Awesome insights into these charts. Uh, this week, we didn't have anybody call in. We, had, we I don't think we've had anybody ask for a chart in two weeks now. That's okay. So The hammer made its appearance. That's true. It did. But we're feeling a little, a little lonely over here, folks. So if you and guys want to look at anything. Well, uh, I mean, I can see Paige's cat in, in there, too. So, like, she's out. That's, right. It's like that. We're having a good time on our end. We just want to when see some more getting, people come in more charts. When are, when are you getting a cat, by the way? I will never get a cat. I'm allergic to cats. You're allergic to cats? That's just what I tell people. I'm not really, but I don't, I don't You're like You're not cats. really allergic to cats. Huge shout out to Paige Driscoll and her team. We have made it to a thousand subscribers on our YouTube channel for all of her hard work and the team. And our goal for 2024 is to go from 1,000 to 10,000 subscribers. 10,000. 10,000 by D31 of 2024. So if you could be a friend Tell a friend, send this video to everybody that you know, even your exes, we don't care. Tell them to like the channel, hit the subscribe button, punch the notification bell. If we get 10,000 subscribers, we get a pizza party at the end of the year and we are stoked. Ten, it's, it's a big ask, but we're going to get there. I, I can feel get it. There. All right. Well, until next week when we're at 5,000, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> I love that I was like, 10,000 is a fun number. And you're like, we're doing it by D31. And if we do it, we'll get a pizza.